Hi, I'm Chris from Mr. Bates, and uh, we've just started selling these absolutely amazing products, which is the Spom. You may or may not have seen these. Now, these are an absolute quality piece of kit. But what, what I've decided to do is, I thought, you know, hang on, maybe we can make a Mr. Bates special Spom. So, I've got a few bits here, and I'm going to show you how to make a very, very cheap Spom out of your old toilet carton. Uh, which is a standard toilet carton like this. Um, we need some line, we need elastic band, some PVA bags, some scissors. Nice and easy. So what we've got is you've, you've used your toilet carton and normally you throw these away so this is recycling its absolute best and um, basically we've cut out some fins out of another toilet carton and as you can see there there's, they just fit in there like that which has literally got four fins. I've cut little slits along the bottom of one tube here, just like that. And basically, we just poke the, the cut out triangles. There we go, there's one fin. Just poke them through the hole like that. And as you can see, oh, that's a bit too much. As you can see, we're starting to look like a rocket. This is gonna work good. There we go, one more. There you go, and as you can see, it's not far dissimilar to the spawn, and we're, we're only a few seconds in. Right, next thing, we need to uh, to make the end so we can tie it to our line. So basically, what I've got is some good old fashioned brown parcel tape, an elastic band, I've pierced the hole through both ends of the carton. We're gonna pull the elastic band through here, like so. There we go, nice and easy. That's gonna be the hanging for our line. So we just need to tie a little knot at the end. I'm not very good at knots, but we'll come up with something. A little knot in the end of the lackey band. If you're having trouble doing this, your kids will probably help you. There we go, we've got a hanging loop. I'm using a trace, a trace wire. It's gotta be uh, strong because it'll just come off your line. So basically we're tying the trace wire. Around the spawn, through the loop. Like so. It's a little bit fiddly, but as I said, if you're having trouble, ask your children to do it. They'll be able to do it quite easily. Now, there's one end. Excellent. Now the only thing that I've noticed is, is that I probably should have put this on the other end because it's now around the wrong way. But it doesn't really matter. We'll have the fins on the front. It'll go much better. Now we're going to get a PVA bag. Nice simple PVA bag. Cut the end off it. Load your boilies. Boilies straight in the carton. Load them up. PVA bag over the end, just like that. Nice bit of brown paper. Boilies are sealed in there, lovely. There we go. And there you have a homemade spawn. Or what could be used as a homemade spawn. As soon as it hits the water, leave it a couple of minutes, PVA bag of milk, drop your boilies in. Now that's a first for Mr. Bates. A Mr. Bates spawn. Ha, 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 ha.